Hola, yo soy maestra. Hello, my name is Senorita Brane, or maestra. I went to school at Muhlenberg College, and previously I went to Constantine High School. I'm teaching Spanish Level 1 and Spanish Level 2. The courses um, for Level 1 are an introductory to Spanish. Um, all of our Level 1s in the Foreign Language Department are an introdu introductory. Um, we try to have students learn the basics of reading, writing, speaking, and listening skills. Um, they should be able to communicate with native speakers and um, be able to understand native speakers. Um, in Spanish 1, we ask that students really just open their mind and enjoy the experience of being in a foreign language. It is a difficult course, um, but it's really fun. You get to try out new things, new traditions, new cultures, learn about um, artists and different places in the world, and um, students should really be prepared to bring with them just an open mind. Spanish 1 is graded on a bunch of different things, um, projects, tests, quizzes, participation, um, homeworks, and classwork make up our grades. Um, Spanish 1 is pretty much just an introductory class welcome for absolutely anybody. And then after that, we ask that you have at least a C2 progress on to the next level. Um, so after that, the levels get progressively harder and more in depth. No, there are no prere prerequisites for level one, but you do need to have had at least a, a really comfortable level of Spanish um, to go on to Spanish two, three, four. So we do ask that you have at least a C plus to do that. There's also a honors level, so if you've done really well, in um, Spanish 1, 2, or 3, you can go move on to Spanish uh, 2, 3, 4, 5 honors. Okay, for Spanish 1, what I like to do is mix it up. So there's usually a test about every month um, and maybe a quiz every two weeks. Um, but I like to mix it up with some projects. So over here, I brought with me one of the projects. Um, this was for Day of the Dead, and this you can see is an ofrenda. And if you've been to our Day of the Dead, then you know exactly what this is. But if you haven't, let me explain it. Um, this is a offering for somebody who's passed away and honoring their memory. Now, this actually isn't a person, it's somebody's pet, but it was a dearly beloved pet, and um, this is honoring their pet. Okay. One of many ways that people, that people are able to express um, their knowledge and their understanding of culture, traditions, and also of the language.